I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus's power and follow his words. Jesus's power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Welcome back to Kids Vid Cinema. I'm Kelly and I'm sad because today is our last day together. I think this week has been a lot of fun and I am sad that I didn't get to see you guys in person, but I'm really thankful that you guys were able to participate in Bible school virtually. Hopefully we'll be able to be together next year. So hope that you guys have been enjoying um, these videos and learning about Jesus through kids that are just like you. So today we're going to meet one more friend um, and watch our last Kid Vid Cinema video. Are you ready? I can't wait to see who we're gonna meet. Hi, I'm Renee and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Alina, and I'm 11 years old. Renee and Alina are great friends, and they live in the beautiful desert of Southern Arizona. They love to hang out and be silly together. Their friendship has grown after they both joined an arts ministry at their church. Um, Ansel's Manos is a creative art ministry. We do puppets, we do shows, we do skits, and stuff like that. En sus manos is Spanish for in his hands. It's an art ministry that uses performance to share the love of God. There is dancing, acting, and music. My favorite thing about performing is probably looking like um, at the end looking at like all the kids all smiling and laughing and liking it. 
Sometimes performances are serious, and sometimes they're fun and silly. Regardless of being silly or not, one thing is true. Being a part of Ansus Manos has brought the entire team closer together. This puppet ministry helped us become better friends. And it's not just like me and her. Like other people, a lot more. Basically the whole group. Our group, like before, like we were all friends, like we were chill, but now we're like, we're like really, really good friends. And like, we're always hanging out. We're always like laughing, making jokes. Jesus has used the ministry to bring the team together. This team of friends help each other to do the best they can to share God's love. My friends, like they helped me not be nervous because like they were doing, they were doing it too and they were nervous, but at the same time they, they supported us. I was with my friends and I knew a lot of people in, from church, so it wasn't that, that scary anymore. Serving Jesus together has helped Lena and Renee become great friends, but they both know who the best friend is, Jesus. He, he's like one of our like bestest friends ever. He is. <laughs> yeah. Renee and Alina know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Jesus helps me make friends. Um, like God knows that I'm doing like this whole ministry for him. And so it just helped me like become better friends with people. So he helped me like be friends with a lot of people, but still like worship him and praise him. In the Bible, in the book of John chapter 15, verse 12, it says, love each other in the same way I have loved you. Jesus loved us all equally, so we should love everybody because as he says in the Bible, we're all brothers and sisters and love your enemies. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. I tricked you. We actually met two new friends. <laughs> so, what a good story about good friends. In your life, what do you look for in a good friend? For me, I have a lot of things that I look for, but in a good friend, I think um, being kind and thoughtful are really important. What about you? Go ahead and tell your families what you look for in a good friend. I'm sure that you guys have great qualities that you look for in friends. Something I've found in my life is that friendships don't always work out as well as the relationship that Renee and Elena have. Sometimes you think someone is a friend, but then something happens to change your mind. Maybe the person you thought was a friend talked behind your back and made fun of you. Or maybe you hurt a friend's feelings and that friendship ended. When is a time friendship didn't work out in your life? Something um, you can tell your family. You don't have to name names. If you want to, you can. That's fine. Um, but tell your family what happened. And parents, I would love for you to go first. Thanks for sharing your stories. Good friendships are special and important in our lives. But that doesn't mean that friendships are always easy. Sometimes, guys, they are so hard. But that is why I'm so grateful for Jesus' power. It helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. All right, you know what time it is. I didn't pick it up. It's time to read our Bibles. All right, today we're going to be in John, John 15, and if you want, you can go ahead and turn there if you have a Bible. If not, we have our fun Bible buddy today is Lawrence the Elk, and right on the back is our Bible verse, so you can read it from there. If you can't read it, it's okay. I'll read to you. All right, here we go. John 15, 12. Love each other the same way I have loved you. Ooh, that's a good one, guys. 
all week at Rocky Railway, we've been learning about Jesus's power. And today we're discovering that Jesus's power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. I love that in this Bible verse, Jesus gives us advice about how to be a good friend. Jesus tells us to love each other in the same way that he has loved us. Let's think back to what we've learned this week and see what we can discover about loving each other like Jesus loves us. On the very first day of Kids Bid Cinema, we met Dominic. Dominic loves karate even though it was hard sometimes. Watching Dominic, we learned that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Awesome, guys. Helping us do hard things is one way that Jesus shows us he loves us. So I guess that means we could be a good friend by helping someone do hard things. What's a hard thing that you could help a friend with? Think about it and you can talk in your families. Maybe your friend is upset because his parents are getting divorced. Mine got divorced, it was hard. You could be a good listener and encourage your friend to trust Jesus. What are other hard things that you could help a friend with? After Dominic, we met Annalise who used her music to give her sick grandmother hope. From Annalise, we learned that Jesus's power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. Jesus shows his love for us by giving us hope. All right. If we want to love others like Jesus loves us, we could give someone hope. How could you give a friend hope? What could you do? Maybe you could make a card for a friend who is sick, telling that friend that you're praying for them. Um, what are other ways that you guys could give a friend hope? I'm sure your ideas were great. After Annalise, we met Lauren, who volunteers at her local community food center. She helped us remember that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Jesus shows his love for us by helping us be bold. How could you help a friend be bold? In our video today, we heard how Renee and Alana, Elena, um, helped each other not be nervous before a performance. So that's one way that you could help a friend be bold. What are other ways that you could help a friend be bold? Go ahead and talk about that. I'm sure what you shared was great. And then if you guys remember yesterday, we met Isaac, who knows he'll see his brother Joel in heaven someday. Isaac's story can help us remember that Jesus's power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Everyone needs to know about Jesus and his incredible love for us. Telling a friend about Jesus is maybe the best bold thing that you could ever do for that person. Who could you tell about Jesus this week and what could you say? Tell your families. I love that you guys have been thinking of creative things all week and I wish I could hear them. Um, I would love to see how you guys could be a good friend um, and show Jesus' love. Jesus is the best friend of all time. If we listen to him and follow his example, we can be good friends to others. Let's talk about, let's talk to Jesus as we close. Today, um, we're going to go ahead and pray. So, if you could pray with me. Um, let's see. Dear Lord, your love and your love are amazing. Thank you for being the best friend we'll ever have. Thank you for showing us how to be good friends. 
Please be with each person here at Rocky Railway as we go into the world to live for you. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, our time has come to a close. I'm so sad. Thank you guys for being here at Kids Vid Cinema. I really hope that you guys will come back next summer and um, watch these stories about real kids. And um, I'm really excited. Hopefully we'll see you guys out at the per church property. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. We love you. Bye. Welcome to Imagination Station. I really can't believe it's our last day together. I've had so much fun making discoveries with you this week. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! But before we dig into that, I get to ask you one last time. Did you bring your imagination today? Since it's our last day at Rocky Railway, we need tons of imagination. I was talking to my friend Lawrence Elk, and he told me something amazing. Did you know that an elk can weigh as much as 730 pounds? I said, Lawrence, how do you power up to carry all that weight up a mountain? And he told me he eats 20 pounds of vegetation every single day. Do you have any vegetation where you're at? In a moment, I'm gonna have you run to the nearest vegetation and touch it and then run back. It could be a house plant or a flower or even a bag of carrots. Hurry and come right back. Now that we have our imagination sprouting, let's find out today's question. How many toes do elk have on each leg? Do they have two toes or four toes? Think about your answer.
ready? Okay, time for the drum roll so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is elk have four toes on each leg. Imagine that. It's our last day at Imagination Station. And today we're going to make power bands, yay! Steam trains get their power from either wood or coal. So you can use wood beads or coal beads on your power band, or you can use both. But we get our power from Jesus. Every day at Rocky Railway, we discovered something new about Jesus's amazing power. So you'll add one cross to your power band to help you remember Jesus's power in your life. I'll walk you through the simple steps. As you work, Remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Before you start, you'll need to find some tape and some kid-friendly scissors. And you may need a family member to lend a hand. In your kit, you'll have 10 beads. Some will be coal beads. Some will be wood beads. And you'll have one cross bead and an elastic band. The first step to making your power band is to tie a knot on one end of the string. Just like that. You're gonna put the band down and grab your tape. Tape the band down either to a table or the floor. This is gonna make it easier for you to string the beads. Next, thread your choice of beads onto the string, making sure to include at least one cross bead. You can do any pattern that you want. Now remove the tape and work with a partner to tie the strings around your wrist and knot it so it fits just right. I had a grown up help me cut the ends off my band so now it looks nice and neat. Every time you wear your power band, you can remember that Jesus has amazing power and he uses that power to help us. And since we know that Jesus's power helps us be good friends, trust Jesus. You can be a good friend by giving a power band to a friend. That way, your friend can remember Jesus's power too.
Every time you wear your power band, you can remember that Jesus has amazing power and he uses that power to help us. And since we know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends, trust Jesus. You can be a good friend by praying for someone every time you look at your bracelet. Well, believe it or not, we've come to the end of our time at Imagination Station. If you need a place to keep your power band, you can put it inside of a baggie. And if you have the Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's point. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us at Imagination Station here at Rocky Railway VBS, where we've learned that Jesus' power pulls us through. Trust Jesus.